Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to perform max min and max product composition on a given fuzzy relations with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given two fuzzy relations R and S. Given these fuzzy relations, we need to perform the max min and max product composition and then we need to find the new fuzzy relation T in this case. So, first we will discuss how to perform max min composition here. In this case, we have been given two fuzzy relations as said earlier, that is R and S here. Once we perform a max min composition on a given fuzzy relations, uh, let's say that R and S, we will get another fuzzy relation, that is T in this case. Now, the question comes in front of us is how many members will be present in this uh, fuzzy relation T here? Now, if you look at these uh, two fuzzy relations, the R and S, in this case, you can see here uh, x1, x2 are the rows y1, y2 are the columns in this case and if you look at these things there are four uh, members are there. Similarly in S uh, we have two rows and uh, three columns the meaning is uh, six uh, members are there here and uh, once you perform the max min composition or max product composition on these two fuzzy relations uh, what should happen here is uh, the number of columns in the first relation should match with the number of uh, rows in the second uh, relation here that is the minimum requirement. So, there are two columns are there in fuzzy relation R, there should be two rows in fuzzy relation S here, then only we can perform max min or max product composition here. So, there is a match here, so we can perform in this case. Now, the number of members in the fuzzy relation T is equivalent to the number of rows in the first column that is x1, x2 you can notice here and the number of columns in second fuzzy relation that is Z1, Z2, Z3 over here. So, that is what the number of uh, uh, members we will get in uh, fuzzy relation T here. Now, if you look at here, uh, there should be six members. Uh, we need to calculate the membership values for all six uh, members in this case. That is, first one is uh, X1, Z1, second one is X1, Z2, third one is X1, Z3, fourth one is X2, Z1 and so on. I will discuss how to calculate the membership values one by one. That is, uh, the first one is uh, membership value of X1, Z1 in this case. Now, you can notice here, we start with x1 and we need to end with where z1 over here. So, that's the reason uh, I have written the membership value something like this. The membership value of x1, z1 in the fuzzy relation t here, which is equivalent to maximum of, next we need to take the minimum here. The minimum between, from where to where we need to go, we need to start at x1 and then we need to end at z1 here. So, that's the reason we will start at uh, x1 x1 to y1, this is the first thing, we will get uh, the first value here. The second one is what? We have ended at y1 here, we will start at y1 here. Now, y1 to z1, you can notice here, we reach this z1. So, what is the value we have here? This is 1. So, between 0 0.6 and 1, we need to get the minimum here. This is the first one. And again, we need to start at x1. And then, we need to end at y2 here, that is x1, y2, that is 0 0.3. Now, we need to start at y2 and then we need to end at x z1, that is y2 z1, which is equivalent to 0 0.8. So, 0 0.3 and 0 0.8 between these two, 0 0.3 is the minimum here. So, that is what I have written in this case. Uh, once you get those particular values, we need to get what? Maximum, maximum between these two is equivalent to 0.6 here. So, this is how we can easily calculate the membership value of uh, x1 z1 in this case. Now, we will discuss how to find the membership value of x1, z2, that is we need to start at x1 and then we need to end at z2 here, that is uh, written something like this, membership value of x1, z2 in fuzzy relation t here, which is equivalent to, again, we need to get a max of two minimum values, that is we need to start at x1 and then we need to end at z2 here. So, I will start at x1, I will go up to y1 here, what is the value we will have, that is 0.6. From y1, I will go up to where z2, that is 0.5. So, between 0.6 and 0.5, what is the minimum we need to get? That's the first component here. Again, I will start at x1. I will go up to y2 here. What is the value we have here? 0.3. Now, from this y2, from this y2, I will go up to z2 here. What is the value we have here? 0.4. So, between 0.3 and 0.4, we need to get the minimum here. So, minimum between these two is 0.5. Minimum between these two is equal to 0.3. The maximum between these two is equal to 0.5 over here. So, that is the membership value of x1, z2 in the fuzzy relation t here. Now, we will continue with the next one that is uh, how to calculate the membership value of x1, z3 here. We have to start at x1 and then we need to end at what? z3 here. 
So we will start at x1 here and then we will go to y1. What is the value we have? 0.6. We will start at y1. We will go up to z3. What is the value we have here? 0.3. Between these two, we need to get the minimum here. So that is what I have written here. Now we will start with again uh, at x1. We will go to y2. What is the value we have here? 0.3. We will start at y2. We will go up to z3. What is the value we have here? 0.7. Between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7, we need to get the minimum here. That is what I have written here. Again, uh, once you get the minimum between these two, we need to apply the maximum. We will get the 0 0.3 as the value here. This is the membership value at this place here. Similarly, we have to calculate the membership value for the remaining things. I have calculated here. These are the membership values for the remaining three members in this case. And uh, finally, the membership values for the fertilization T looks something like this. This is how we can perform the maximum composition on the given fuzzy relations so that we will get the new fuzzy relation here. Now we will discuss how to perform max product composition on the given fuzzy relations. In this case, again, we have been given two fuzzy relations R and S here. Uh, this is how the resulting fuzzy relation looks like once you perform max product composition here. Now we need to calculate the membership values at uh, uh, X1, Z1, X1, Z2 and so on. I will discuss how to calculate the membership value of X1, Z1 here. So, membership value of X1, Z1 in fuzzy relation T is equal to max of, in the previous case, we have taken the minimum. In this case, we have to take the product over here. That's the only difference between max min and max product composition here. First, we will start at X1. We will go up to Y1 here. That is 0.6. Again, we will go from Y1 to Z1 in this case. What is the value we have here? 1 in this case. 0.6 multiplied by 1. So that is what the first component here. The second component is what? Again, we will start at y x1. We will go up to y2. From y2, we will go up to z1 here. That is 0.3 multiplied by 0.8 in this case. So once you perform those uh, multiplications, you will get 0.6 and 0.24. The maximum between these two is equal to 0.6 here. Now we will uh, try to calculate the membership value at x1 z2 here. That is, we need to start at x1 and then we need to end at z2 here. So, we will start at x1. We will go up to y1. What is the value we have here? 0. 0.6. From y2, we will go up to where? z2. What is the value we have here? 0. 0.5. 0. 0.6 multiplied by 0. 0.5. So, that's the first one. Again, we will start at x1. We will go up to y2. That is 0. 0.3. Now, uh, from y2, we will go up to z2. That is equal to 0. 0.4. 0. 0.3 multiplied by 0. 0.4. That is what I have written here. Now, the maximum between these two is equal to 0. 0.3 here. Similarly, we can calculate the membership value of x1, z3. Again, we need to start at x1 till z3 we have to go. So, x1 to y1 that is 0.6. y1 to z3 that is equal to 0.3. So, 0.6 multiplied by 0.3 that is what I have written here. Next, we will start at x1. We will go up to y2 that is 0.3. y2 to z3 that is 0.7. That is what I have written here. Once you solve it, you will get the maximum value as 0.21. So, that is the membership value of X1, Z3. Similarly, we have to calculate the membership value for the remaining three things. That is what I have calculated here. 0 0.72, 0 0.36 and 0 0.63 are the remaining uh, membership values here. Once you put all these uh, membership values, the fuzzy relation P after performing a uh, max product composition between R and S looks something like this. So, this is how we can perform max min and max product composition on the given fuzzy relations so that we will get a new fuzzy relation in this case. I hope the concept of max min and max product composition is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.